Hello, everyone. I'm Tiana Sermons reporting for Kids First, and today I'm speaking with Mr. Tony Kent III about his role as the editor for the new Apple TV Plus documentary, Sydney, which highlights the accomplishments as well as the obstacles that legendary actor, filmmaker, and activist Sydney Portier faced. Mr. Kent is best known for his work on Spirit Unforgettable, The Age of AI, and I'm Burt Reynolds, as well as various TV documentary series and TV movies. Welcome, Mr. Kent. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yes, it is an honor to get to speak with you today. I mean, I absolutely love the documentary and I can't wait to learn more about it. Awesome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was a, it was an amazing uh, experience to work on and also learn so much more about Sydney. So it was an honor. I'm sure. And so what made you want to be part of this project? Um, the company that I've worked with a few times on some of my other projects, some of the document, uh, biographical documentaries that we've done, told me it must have been a couple of years ago now. It was before the pandemic hit. He said, we've got this thing coming up on Sidney Poitier. Are you interested? And as soon as he mentioned his name, I was in, basically. <laughs> That's absolutely amazing that you get to work on a project about someone that you just love so much. So unfortunately, Mr. Portier passed away prior to the film being released. I think he would have been extremely proud of the outcome of the project. As the editor, how does it impact you knowing that even though he didn't get to see it, you have created something that now introduces his legacy to future generations of people? I think because his family was so important to him, his family was everything, his parents were everything to him. The fact that his family was able to see it, his daughters, um, and everybody around him and all the people that meant so much to him. I think that those people were able to enjoy it and see it. And it's hopefully a little bit of uh, a dedication to his legacy. I think, uh, I think he would be okay with it. And I think he would have enjoyed it. So Mr. Poitier was the first black actor to win the Academy Award for Blessed Actor. And he had paved the way for so many that came after him. One of my favorite parts of the documentary was hearing from some of the people that he paved the way for, such as Denzel Washington and Halle Berry, who also eventually won Academy Awards for being actors and actresses. So I am sure that there are many great things that they had to say about Mr. Portier. So how do you, how are you able to edit those conversations and decide what to include? That was, this was a tough one because we had so many amazing people and it, it just so happened the night that Denzel won his first Academy Award for training day, Halle Berry also won for Monsters Ball. And that night they gave Sidney Poitier the Lifetime Achievement Award. So it was full circle around from his win in Lilies of the Field to also winning the, the Lifetime Achievement the same night. So it must have been like we had the footage and of the of the night and we have Denzel talking about it and Halle talking about it. But I can't imagine what it would have been like to be in that room that night. So let's talk a little bit about the storytelling. So Miss Oprah Winfrey not only produced this documentary, but she also provided interview footage from her personal collection to help create Sydney. I love how the interview clips from Mr. Portier when he was younger blend together perfectly with Mr. Portier when he was older picking it up. And it really was a conversation in, in a sense he was telling his own story. What was your favorite story from the documentary? Um, probably when he was he was early in his career and he turned down a role that could have uh, helped pay for his, his hospital bills for his daughter, as well as just set him on a path. But he felt like that role didn't um, adhere to the principles that his parents set up for him. So he turned it down, ended up taking out a loan instead of taking that role, just because he didn't feel like it fit with his, his morals and his um, the way he wanted to lay out his career, which is pretty amazing thing when you're that early in your career and you need the money <laughs> to turn it down. And that just, I felt like that set a path for his whole acting career, the choices that he made, even his directing career, like his whole, his whole ethos was summed up in that, turning that role down. So I really enjoyed working on that. And if I had to pick one, I might change my mind tomorrow, but I'll say that one for now. So speaking of like the process and the experience, so Mr. Portier had a life well lived. From hearing about the project to editing it to watching the final cut, how did your perspective on Mr. Portier change throughout the process? My my respect and admiration of him grew immensely. Like I I obviously knew him as an actor 
and a director, but I didn't know as much about his personal life. I honestly didn't know how involved he was in the civil rights movement in the 1960s. So that was amazing to learn. The stuff that he and Harry Belafonte, they, they put their necks out and it must have been at that time even more difficult to put yourself out like that when, when there's not as many people along with you. So I was in the right place at the right time. And I was just, I'm honored to have worked on this film, to work with Oprah. And yeah, it's hopefully people will be watching us for a long time to come. Documentaries such as Sydney allow you to learn more about our legends, their struggles, and how they became iconic. And it truly makes their stories even more meaningful and inspiring. What do you hope people overall get from the story about Sydney Portier? Well, yeah, I hope people learn a, a lot more about his legacy and um, his impact to be the only one at that time or the only one of few at that time and how it's only been maybe 30, 40, 50 years since he was there, but right. a lot has changed, a lot maybe hasn't changed. So just, I hope more people, younger people learn about him and his impact and uh, yeah. Yeah, so I will definitely pass this on to my cousins, my friends, <laughs> one that I can find that I know would, well, anyone really would be inspired. So anyone I can find. <laughs> yeah, I think it's an amazing story too for even, Maybe people that don't know as much about Sydney or his life, it's it's you can you get you get his his life story and you get to see his journey and I think yeah I think it's an important film for people to to watch and enjoy and uh, yeah definitely pass it along. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing Mr. Poitier's story with the world and thank you so much for speaking with me today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Of course. And for everyone watching, you can watch Sydney streaming now on Apple TV+. That's all for this interview for Kids First. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our next reviews or interviews. Again, I'm Tia Sermons. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.